Welcome back. Have you ever looked at a use-by date and think, can I still consume this or mm. not? Well, often... you're not alone. Mm. So which expiration dates are worth following and which are really just a guide here to help us is nutritionist Dr. Joanna McMillan. Jo. Hi, Jo. Good morning. First of all, just for clarification for everyone, what is the difference between an ex expiration date and a yes. best before? Yeah, so look for whether it says best before or used, used by. by. Yeah. Oh. So if it says best before, that's incredibly safe. The manufacturers want you to make sure that the quality of their product is absolutely optimal. So the best before is extremely safe. And what they say is the quality may start to decline after that best before. But it doesn't mean you can't eat it. So we've got to make sure that we're limiting our food waste. So don't use the best before as an absolute cutoff. And used by? The used by, on the other hand, is about food safety. So it is best, particularly when we come to talk about things like meat meat and milk and so on, it's best not to consume, that's your cut off, your oh, use by date. Alright, so what do we need to be aware of, in the, especially in the dairy, dairy section? Yeah, so the thing about dairy is, if you buy your cheeses in hard blocks like this, hard cheeses are really good, because if it does start to go a bit mouldy on the outside, you can cut it off. Hey. And the cheese inside is fine. It's fine. Yes. So Whereas so if you've got it grated... What if it's you really can't tell the difference, can well, you? Well, that's, yeah, that's a, that's a fermented cheese that. anyway, it's yeah. actually pretty safe. My other tip with cheese is to take it out of the plastic, which makes the cheese kind of sweat. Ah. And just wrap it in some baking paper like this, oh. okay? Grated cheese is not going to last as long because obviously if there is any bacteria present or moulds present, it's going to be a mix through the cheese. So just letting fact, you know, our coffee machine's really <laughs> cleaning itself at the moment. Is that what's going on? It's having on. a really good purge. Yeah, it's that's, really that's lovely. Not it's not us, it's just doing it of its own volition. It's, not it's time. It's fast as you buy, Dave. Go on. And then the only other thing to say about the dairy is once you've <laughs> opened the pot or opened the bottle, that's when you're starting. Microbes can then get in. Oh. There's obviously some still in there. Um, and, that, and it's going to go off more quickly. So like this ricotta, it's got a really long um, use-by date right. on there. I think it's 2024. That's best before 2024. Yeah, and that's okay. best before, not use-by. Oh, I think it lasts in the fridge forever. But as soon as you've opened it up, it's uh, going to go off much more quickly. So it's like, like a ticking time bomb. Yeah. Yeah. So do pay attention to use-by and then use within X number of days. You should you open it up and the thing to 60 minutes just start sticking around. <laughs> tick, 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 tick. And that's, you know, for yeah. the kids watching, that's why you need to put the milk away in the fridge after you end up using it. Yeah, and actually, <laughs> Belinda, that's a really good point. If you've got one of those fridges where, you know, some of them have got a little door that yes. opens, that's a great idea. If, like my fridge, I've got to open the whole thing to get it out, mm. make sure you don't get into a bad habit. As I do, I confess, leaving the fridge open while I'm ticking things ah. out. Because if your temperature is fluctuating in your fridge, same with the freezer, things aren't going to last as long. What about well. meat? So meat, well, manufacturers have got much cleverer about the way they wrap meat. So this kind of shrink wrapping mm -hmm. is a really good way of preserving meat. So you'll oh. see that these used-by dates actually end up being much longer than they used to be if you just bought the fresh meat. But a little bit like the cheese, when you've bought it in a slab of meat, mm. that's a terrible word to use, isn't it? <laughs> Didn't sound very delicious. When you bite in a whole piece of meat like that, any microbes are on the surface. So when you're searing your meat, you're actually killing off those microbes and you're cooking it really well. Mince meat isn't going to last so long, just like the grated cheese. Okay. Any microbes again. Quick question about through. the meat though. So just say you've had the meat in your fridge for five days, yeah. it's about to expire, can yes. you whack it in the freezer and then use it later? Yes, as long as you've done that before the use by date. Okay. okay. Yeah. Then what put about it in oils and spices and stuff like that? Yeah, so these kind of condiments are great. Anything that's got a lot of salt, a lot of sugar. Yeah, processed. <laughs> Even microbes don't want to grow in that stuff. So this is all going to last a really long time. My tip with oil is please make sure you buy your oil in a dark bottle and, oh. and keep it in the pantry. Don't keep it right next to your stove where it gets or the oven where it gets really hot. Yeah. So the, the enemies of any oil, regardless of what oil you're using, are heat and light and air. So you want to limit as much as possible all of those ingredients. So keep it in a dark bottle, keep it cool in the pantry. And then it'll last a long time. Eggs, do yes. you like to keep your eggs in the fridge or fridge. in the fridge? Yeah. Yes. I like to cook them from room temperature. So what I do is the backup eggs You're are from in the Scotland. fridge. You're from Scotland. You lived in a fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Our houses are hot though, <laughs> That's true. We have central heating and double glazing and things. That's true. So it, I use a lot of eggs. So yeah. I don't mind keeping my eggs out. But but the thing about eggs is they've actually got a phenomenally long uh, use by time. Right. And if you've ever cracked a nasty egg, you will know. You'll know. Yeah. You will know. I, I've, got, yeah. I've right. got two boys. Sorry, but yes. I've got two boys. Yeah. Not that there's any bread left in the house, but how do I get 
delivered fresh. Yes. yes. So bread that is stored, these plastic bags for supermarket breads are actually very clever and they put vinegar into the, actually helps to preserve oh. the bread. So supermarket breads actually last pretty long. If you've got, this was like a gorgeous sourdough that I got from one of my local Bondi bakeries. Um, it costs a lot more money. So you don't want to waste that kind of bread. I That's think right. this was $10, this loaf. Mm. So what I do is, especially when my boys are with their dad, I slice the bread up and I put it in the freezer in a Ziploc bag like this or I dry it out blitz it up into breadcrumbs dry them out in a really low oven just at a oh. sort of 140 oven for half an hour or so and then it'll store in the pantry for breadcrumbs Fantastic. perfect how about those pantry staples so we've got the flour we've got like mm. rice and, and pasta as well yeah, rice and pasta anything that's dried where there's not moisture your food's going to store for a very long time. Right. Okay. I would suggest with things like flour, I'm a bit naughty here because I like to put them into these tubs and then I forget that I'm going to use by uh, data uh, anymore up there. So it's one of these <laughs> so, ones. Um, I yeah, think it's okay. So it is, <laughs> if you do what I do, it is worth just putting a little date on it and making sure you Good use tip. it up before you refill it. Perfect. And then things that go in the pantry. Canning is brilliant. You know when you watch those Walking Dead and apocalyptic oh, yeah. type stores? They're always eating canned food. As a preface yeah. number and that's This lasts for years. Right. Okay. So Joe, we've got to go. Thank Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?